how to fix media offline in DaVinci Resolve. So to fix this media offline problem, we first need to figure out what is media offline, what does it mean, what needs to happen for media offline to happen. The most common thing that happens is usually you have a video somewhere on your computer, for example, you have a video on your desktop and you make the project while the video is on desktop, for example, it can be anywhere. Then you save the project, you close the project, and then you're like, I don't want this video to be on my desktop anymore. I'm just going to make a special folder for all of the videos. And then you transfer that video to that folder and you remove it from your desktop. That's basically changing locations. So what my DaVinci is doing, it's searching for a video on a specific location, but the video is not there anymore. And what you need to do is right click here on the uh, on the video that's causing problems. And then if you go to open file location, as you can see, unable to find media. Now let's go right click again and relink selected clips. Now I know where this video is at now. It's in my downloads. So let's do that. And there you go. It searched for the video in my downloads. And because I know the video is in that folder, it found the video just by the title. Let's go to rename and let's go. No copyright. There you go. Now, if I change the name, there's the there's the issue. Now you can still see the video. It can still play because it's on my RAM memory, so it doesn't have to load it up again. But if I, for example, save this and then went back, as you can see, you can't play the video. Now, what you have to do is right click, going into replace selected clip, go into the uh, folder where the clip is, then select your clip. And here it is. Now, if the video is deleted. I'm afraid you're out of luck, but I recommend you checking your recycle bin to see if the video is still there if you deleted the video. And there you go. I really hope this tutorial worked for you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next video.